Pluto reimagined by the James Webb Space Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, humanity's most advanced window into the cosmos, has fundamentally reshaped how scientists perceive Pluto and its place in the outer solar system. For decades, Pluto was seen as little more than a frozen remnant of planetary formation, a small, distant body drifting quietly in the icy Kuiper belt. It was considered too far away, too cold, and too geologically inactive to hold much scientific interest. When Pluto was reclassified in 2006 from a planet to a dwarf planet, many assumed that this demotion marked the end of its significance in planetary science. To most, Pluto became nothing more than an astronomical curiosity, a minor world on the fringes of our sun's reach. But the powerful eyes of JWST have turned that perception upside down. Rather than being silent and unchanging, Pluto has emerged as a complex and unexpectedly dynamic world. Its surface, far from being static, shows evidence of ongoing processes, slow tectonic shifts, convective activity beneath its icy crust, and surprising chemical diversity scattered across its terrain. At the center of these revelations is Sputnik Planitia, the vast, iconic, heart-shaped region stretching across Pluto's surface. Once thought to be nothing more than a flat, frozen expanse of nitrogen ice, it now appears to conceal something extraordinary beneath, a subsurface ocean. This hidden ocean, kept from freezing solid by a thick insulating shell of ice, could maintain liquid water for billions of years. If confirmed, it would mean that even a world so far from the sun possesses one of the most essential ingredients for life. The possibility of microbial ecosystems thriving in this concealed ocean has ignited new discussions in astrobiology. What once seemed an impossible dream, the idea of life so far out in the solar system, now feels like a credible line of exploration. Beyond the hidden ocean, Pluto's surface itself tells a story of energy and renewal. Towering ice mountains, composed not of rock but of water frozen as hard as stone, rise to heights comparable to Earth's greatest ranges. Smooth plains, lacking the scars of ancient craters, suggest that Pluto's crust has been resurfaced relatively recently in geological time. This activity implies that Pluto is not dead but continues to evolve under the influence of internal heat. Beneath the surface, radioactive decay in the core generates warmth, driving convection that makes nitrogen ice flow slowly like a thick, glacial sea. This hidden circulation keeps Pluto's appearance fresh and ever-changing, a remarkable quality for a world once dismissed as lifeless. Adding to Pluto's intrigue is its companion, Charon, the largest moon relative to its planet in the solar system. Unlike most planetary systems, Pluto and Charon orbit a shared center of mass, making them a true binary system rather than a typical planet-moon pair. Their gravitational dance continuously stirs their interiors, creating tidal forces that may help sustain geological activity. Charon's landscape is just as dramatic as Pluto's, marked by vast canyons, ridges, and a reddish hue likely caused by chemical interactions with escaping gases from Pluto's atmosphere. Some evidence even suggests that material may pass between Pluto and Charon, creating an exchange of ices and organic molecules that enriches both bodies. Together, Pluto and Charon form a cosmic partnership, a dual system of extraordinary balance, locked in a gravitational embrace that defies the loneliness of the outer solar system. This shared evolution raises deeper questions about how small, icy worlds can sustain energy, chemistry, and perhaps even habitability in regions once thought too cold and too remote for such complexity. All of these insights have been possible only because of JWST's unprecedented power. Its ability to capture faint light in the infrared spectrum has revealed hidden layers of Pluto's surface and atmosphere that were invisible to earlier missions and telescopes. Through JWST, Pluto has shifted from being viewed as an icy relic at the solar system's edge to being recognized as a world of surprises, alive with geological activity, rich in mystery, and potentially harboring conditions for life. 
What was once considered a frozen afterthought now stands at the forefront of planetary science, challenging our assumptions about where life may exist beyond Earth. Pluto, long ignored, is now impossible to overlook. Pluto's hidden oceans and the possibility of life. JWST's powerful infrared eyes have uncovered far more than just surface details. They revealed complex organic molecules scattered across Pluto's surface and drifting in its thin atmosphere. This atmosphere, though delicate, is layered and surprisingly dynamic. It is made primarily of nitrogen, mixed with smaller amounts of methane and carbon dioxide. As Pluto moves along its long, elliptical orbit, the thin air expands and contracts dramatically. When closer to the Sun, the ice on the surface sublimates into gas, creating a temporary but noticeable atmosphere. When Pluto drifts away into the colder regions of its orbit, this atmosphere refreezes and falls back to the surface like frost. This repeating cycle of creation and collapse is unlike anything else observed in our solar system. Floating within this fragile atmosphere are reddish compounds called tholines, formed when ultraviolet light interacts with methane gas. Tholines coat Pluto and Charon in streaks of red and brown, painting them with strange, alien colors. But beyond their beauty, tholines could represent the first chemical steps toward life. Scientists wonder if these compounds could sink into Pluto's hidden ocean and combine with water and heat to spark biology. The possibility is breathtaking. An icy dwarf planet, far from the sun, may secretly nurture the chemistry of life. Perhaps the most transformative discovery is Pluto's likely internal ocean. Kept liquid by radioactive decay in its rocky core. This vast body of water may be one of the largest hidden oceans in the solar system. On Earth, life thrives around deep-sea hydrothermal vents in total darkness, fueled only by heat and chemistry. If Pluto's ocean offers similar conditions, it could harbor microbial colonies, or perhaps even more advanced ecosystems we can scarcely imagine. Future missions may reveal the truth. Scientists envision sending orbiters to study Pluto from above, landers to touch its surface, and even robotic submarines to dive beneath its ice. Such missions would be monumental, but the potential rewards, discovering life beyond Earth, are too great to ignore. Even without a strong magnetic field, Pluto interacts in unusual ways with the solar wind. JWST has captured evidence of charged particles escaping into space, along with strange energetic patterns. These findings not only deepen our knowledge of Pluto but also shed light on the wider Kuiper belt, the icy frontier that stretches beyond Neptune. Pluto is no longer a forgotten outpost. It has become a beacon of curiosity, a reminder that the universe is more mysterious than we ever imagined. With every new observation, Pluto challenges our assumptions and expands the boundaries of habitability. The James Webb Space Telescope has transformed Pluto from a distant curiosity into a vital frontier of planetary science. Its revelations suggest that life may exist in the most unexpected corners of the solar system. Could Pluto harbor microorganisms within its dark ocean? Could it teach us lessons about the chemistry of distant exoplanets? The answers remain hidden beneath ice, waiting for humanity to unlock them. What is certain is this, Pluto's story is far from finished. It will continue to inspire exploration, raise profound questions, and remind us that the universe holds endless surprises for those bold enough to seek them.